hello welcome to my channel it's sharon at be divine vintage um as you know we've been making this journal together i've added a few more embellishments since i last saw you i think i've stitched the seam binding on as the closure i did some daisies there and on the front i'd made this flower out of some scraps of silk that i had silk and satin and added that shabby flower um, on the last recording, we looked at um, the signature and preparing the signature pages, which I've done here. So this is from the Angelina Fibres. And then I've gone through and um, this is metallic gilding from Cosmic Shiver, Shimmer. I've mainly used the um, Ranger Distress Oxide Victoria velvet tea dye and uh, seedless preserve around the edges so i've started to make some ephemera and this is the first ephemera piece that i've made how pretty is it there's the back so the front and back there that's inside so today i'm going to show you how i made this piece of ephemera um, which would tuck rather nicely into this journal, perhaps somewhere like that. Won't it look pretty in there? Oh, yes, it will. So I'm going to show you how to make that. Before I do, uh, I made these for my daughter's wedding journal, and I had a few left. These were inspired by Kelly Snow, and um, they've got vintage wedding lace and case on they're just little literally just little like folders so what i've decided to do as i'm almost at 500 subbies is i am going to give away um a pack of of these of the ephemera that i make for this journal so over this next week or so i'll be making different ephemera and then i'll let you know i'll keep some to one side and bungle it up there, it? and then um that tucks in there and then once we get to 500 subbies i can give some of this really pretty ephemera away so when i make it i'll always make a bit extra so let me just move this because i'm a bit of a messy worker let me put it in plastic right so what i did first of all is i got some um i'm just cleaning my brush here i got some pattern paper and i cut it because it doesn't work very well into these rectangular shapes and using a mod podge i literally oh gone in a bit bit deep there Sharon I literally uh, mod podge together about let's see mother I've not torn there I mod podge together about five pages I've just been watching the uh, started to watch the bank of Dave on Netflix really recommend it it's new out in the UK today and it's filmed in a place called Burnley which is which is in Lancashire where I live and um, I used to live near Burnley when I was a little girl and it's about a guy called Dave who literally established his own bank after the uh, the bank collapse of was it 10 years ago now the global crash so yeah about five of those I think I've gone six this time five or six of those together like that and in good old Blue Peter style for those of you who know Blue Peter I prepared one earlier so let me just move that out of the way and bring my readily prepared one up. I just want to wipe 
this side. Let me get another piece, another baby wipe. My daughter uh, is out at the moment. She's applying for her first nursing job. And she doesn't qualify to wear to into early autumn actually but I have to get these applications in and then they get allocated the wards you know so that the NHS knows where it's up to with the staff etc and she can accept a job that's offered to her it just sort of goes into a general pot but then nearer the time if she chose something else she could apply for a different job right so that is the tissue five pieces there and these are um, dry so I've looked on both sides then that's what I was doing that's why I couldn't think what I was saying and I was seeing which side I like best for the outer side and it's this one because of the writing on it so I'm going to I'm not going to take my Mod Podge I'm going to take my Mod Podge I'm going to put it back again I'm going to take some white acrylic Paint, and I'm just going to go over that. Now, these books have sort of been inspired by a few people. By did I say, uh, oh no, I said Kelly Snow for the little folders. Well, Kelly Snow has sort of inspired these, along with uh, The Girl on the Ridge and Laurie Marie Jenkins. So they've inspired me to what I've created of my own. Right, here's the one prepared earlier. Now this is where we have to work pretty fast. So here I've got my watercolours. I have got other watercolours, but these were um, five pounds last week. They're in the sale, 50% off at Hobby Craft. So what girl can't resist new watercolours. I've got me rubbing alcohol, which has to be a minimum, I do believe, of 91 percent and I've got my wa water I'm gonna spray some water now, because my journal is pink I'm obviously using pinks because I want them all like coordinating and, and ooh, nice so I get my pinks and I'm mixing that into the water because I want a nice juicy bit of peach as well there I want a nice juicy mix of paint. Just put a bit more peach in that. Right, this is where you have to act quick now. So I'm going to paint that juiciness very quickly onto there, very quickly because I don't want it to soak in or dry. And then I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol and I'm going to drip it on. Can you see the effect? Can you see what's happening? I think this is pretty damned amazing, me. Like I said, I am pretty new to, to journaling. So anything that I see that I've not seen before and I can do, absolutely blows me away. So that is that technique and I believe you can do that on all sorts of different mixed media projects so I'll just move my watercolours so there we go that's that now that because it is so wet I think if you blew it with the dryer would sort of blow all over which might give it a different different effect again I've seen that done on black, top of black acrylic. That has a fantastic effect as well. But because this is my pink journal, I wanted to do it with my pinks and whites. So I'm going to swap that over for one that I did earlier, which is dried. It's a little bit there, not dry. I'm just going to take a piece of kitchen towel. I'm just going to blot it. There we go. Right, let's just keep that there. So, what I did next um, to get my little book shape is I folded it, and obviously, this crease here is your straight line. So, then using my 
cutting board and yes I found my little whatever it's called while I was tidying up my craft room I found it so I whooped with joy because I was just about to go and try have to buy another board because they didn't have any of these in Hobbycraft so I just cut that to the sort of size that I want it save all your bits they'll come in for other things you might want to do with this journal so I just trim that down that's a clean down that middle cutting line there just trim that down now you may want to leave these ragged normally I am a girl who likes a ragged edge but I'm trying not to do I'm trying to do something a bit different this time so just checking hoping I wasn't out of frame then so there is the shape of the book and then I wanted to put, put pink inside so I've got a I had a book of sort of notelets, notes to self, like it's white on the back, and I measured it against the book, the uh, pattern paper, because I did want, uh, I do want a little edge around. Did that and just I'm probably the worst person in the world for cutting straight. Rounded my corners. And then I literally got my sponge. I'm going to put the top on that alcohol before it's, well, one before it evaporates, but two, and knock it over and spill it. I've got my uh, Victorian velvet. Oop. Just going to rub around the edge there. <coughs> Hobby's gone to try and purchase some logs because of the uh, oh, cost of living crisis here in the UK and the horrible. Uh, rising costs of fuel because of the war in Europe. Our fuel has gone ridiculously, ridiculously high because the UK were virtually um, guaranteed on Russia for the supplies of fuel. My dad, God bless him, always said that was a big mistake and we'd regret it one day. And he's right, we're regretting it now. So our fuel is extraordinarily high. Our petrol costs have come down recently, but sort of gas and electric. Sometimes you just wonder if it's an excuse by the companies just to um, charge you as much as they possibly can. So we've absolutely rocketed, quadrupled, I would say, and I'm not exaggerating, probably more than quadrupled our bills. So we're using our log burner. However, um, price of logs has gone up now because people know that uh, I mean we have plenty of logs we've got our own logging industry in the UK with lots of trees but people jump on the bandwagon or they're uh, using the log burners so we'll put the price of logs up so that isn't so it's nothing to do with the war in Ukraine that's just greed so anyway they're not as expensive as gas and electricity so he's gone sourcing logs so there we go that's what it looks like on that side and that's what it looks like inside so now I've got some lace this is some vintage lace I had in my stash so I'm just going to put the lace I want to tip that up, do I? I'm uh, using my fabric tag. Just clean that. I am just going to whoop, 
run a bead of glue along each edge there. So tonight, I've got a very, very exciting night ahead. So I love working. Well, I, the story is my dad died. I never thought I was any good at art and craft. I knew I could cook, which is a craft. I thought that was my craft skill. So my dad died and had all these bits and pieces. I didn't know what to do with them. Mum was going to throw them away and I said, I'll take them. And from it, I edged a mirror. I did like a memory mirror. There was all sorts of oh, stuff that my dad had collected. There was pieces of broken costume jewellery that must have belonged like, to his um, parents, grandmothers, what have you. So there was all these bits. There was my dad, like, my mum and dad travelled the world and they, my dad bought badges everywhere he went and so there's loads of bits and pieces so I, I stuck it all around the frame of this mirror along with some other vintage jewellery I had and it, if I say so myself it looks pretty pretty good I was so pleased with it so then friends said to me oh can you do that for me can you do that for me so I made some more and then I went to a uh, a fair and I sold some and I'm like wow people people want to buy it I must be I must be artistic so then I um during lockdown started crafting a little bit more and that's when I went into paper craft now my mum is amazing at sewing she's 86 now or oh, 85 sorry she'll be 86 this year and she is amazing at sewing so I'm going to move into the field of textile art next mum's going to help me and tonight I joined the Harwich um, textile art group art club which is the, is it the th Thursday of every month and tonight there'll be a textile artist speaking to the group and demonstrating her work and bringing her work along with her so I'm really really looking forward to that Right, I'm going to put some, this is a print stick, glue stick, put that on there, plenty of that, I've got fluff me everywhere, absolutely everywhere, I've been doing some things with fibres so I'm not finding my fibres, so then, let's move that now, so then I will stick that back into that little frame I've just made of this. I couldn't, oh, there it is. There's my ball folder, but while I was looking for it, I came across this little one I had. So which has actually been nice to use in this little project. So I'll just squish that down. Now, I, um, here we go. I stitched around mine. I used a fancy stitch on my sewing machine and stitched around in just a creamy cotton. But I'm not going to stitch around this one. I might stitch around after, but I don't want to spend time now stitching around. So I'll fold your little book back in half, burnish the edge. I've got Angelina fibres everywhere. There we go. So there's your little book. And then embellish it at your leisure, whatever you want to do with it. What I did is I got my Victoria Velvet. It's a beautiful colour this. I went around along the spine and I just went all around the edge. It didn't matter to me that bits went onto the lace like that. That was all right. I've just been watching a Laurie Marie Jenkins um, group and they were doing work with nature. So my hope is with this textile group that I can do some sort of work with nature. I took a picture this morning and put it on my Instagram actually. Because outside there was some very thin sheets of ice and they're on an area of the garden that we're working on that we're developing at the moment. And uh, 
they look so pretty because they had some new shoots sort of coming through and then some old dead grass as well sort of that was crisscrossed it was really pretty so i took a picture of that and i thought that's something i could perhaps work on doing so there we go you can see the little bits coming through from the journal from the pattern paper so now it's time to decorate it so i have these rosettes which i love sadly i've only got two this color i've got some sort of beige colored ones which can use it on my others hubby's home Ross, i'm just doing a video ross don't deserve me i'm just doing a video shaking his head he said no you're not i think you'll find that i am now i use some lace trim what i did here is i just tore a piece off as you can see there so i'm just going to make a little snip and i'm just gonna tear a bit and i put that sort of along there then I have these, uh, I've got loads and loads and loads of these. They are vintage. There is some in my shop. I can put a link below. The vintage Victorian style um, scrapbooking pieces. Just got so many. And when I opened the box, I thought, oh, I'm going to put some roses on. It's going to be pretty. I'm going to follow... Uh, the girl on the ridge with her roses and things then i saw these beautiful kittens now who doesn't love a kitten i absolutely love kittens i'm gonna use that go on there Ooh, i'll just have to put it around the corner how do i put this one on how do i put this one on? i'm gonna put this one so I love cats. My, we've got four here. Mine, which is called Tar Princess Tara Butterball Alexander. They're just they're just general moggies. They're not um not designer cats. Um, she is the mother of same father, but she's the mother of Lilith and Rocky. your tail off there go on there I could go there I could bend that oh. no I can't fold it right I'd have to cut it off okay, if I put that there. I'm sorry pretty kid I'm gonna have to cut your tail off I can't bend it round because of the, this so if that goes there that goes there I have to cut mm -hmm. oh, I hate it I hate it cutting Cutting cats and never kill anything. It breaks me out just to cut that then. So if that goes there, like that. And then there's these beautiful roses. So let's see which one I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this one with the forget me nots on. So yeah, so then we've got uh, Rocky and Lilith, brother and sister, same mum and dad, two different litters. Rocky belongs to my son, Lilith is my daughter. And we've got Percy, who's my daughter's cat. He's the tabby, he's absolutely gorgeous. All oh, my cats are gorgeous. The dad of the two, brother and sister, was a very long, very, very long herd black tomcat. So the Lilith and Rocky. Oh, beautiful, beautiful fur. Anyway, Rocky's going to be moving out. He's going to be going living with my son and his girlfriend. So they're not too far away, but I was so... And my son told me, I've done everything I can to try and keep Rocky here. And so when he told me, I was like, oh, a bit gutted really. So I've been preparing Rocky. Me and Rocky snuggle up at night and we, let's have a look at that there. I 
think I'll, should I put that? I think I'll put that on top actually. Adds a bit more colour, doesn't it? Yeah, so me and Rocky, we snuggle up at night and he and he licks my arm in bed and he does this on me and we love each other so much. So I've sort of been telling him that he's going to be moving out and trying to mentally prepare him for it. So I could have done it. I think I'm going to do it that way. So yeah, he's going, my boy. He's just going. Just go around those edges so we don't have any white edges. Yeah, so he's going. So my, me and my husband have moaned all the time. Blooming cats, we've got your cats here, blah, blah, blah. We have too many cats. And now he said he's taking it. Me and my husband will be like, I don't want him to go. Will they look after him properly? Will they know what to do? Any excuse so as we can keep him here. So this is uh, just uh, PVA glue. It's the high tack sticky glue. I put that on there. Across the bottom. Oh, look. Look at their faces. Look at their faces. <sighs> My cats always look extraordinarily sorry for themselves and they just know to wrap you around the fingers. They're hating it at the moment because it's so cold and icy. So they only go out if they really, really have to do. And at night you'll find them usually all sort of snuggled together. They all love each other. They're going to miss Rocky when he moves. Rocky will miss them. Rocky will miss me. <laughs> His nana. Let's just put that there. Then I'm going to stick this. I'm trying to remember to put all my lids back on things. Because I did a disaster with my Mod Podge. I can show you my Mod Podge disaster. I just moved this. So I didn't put the lid on my Mod Podge. And yeah, this was my Mod Podge disaster, but I did enjoy picking it out. <laughs> anyway, right, so there we go. Now on the back of this one, I did put a little summing on the back. So I got my script stamp, here it is. I've got some purple preserve which I'm going to do now and just stamp a little bit on there very pretty just want something for there actually I'm going to put one of these little little kitties I put this one and I'm going to put this one because there's a bit more colour to it because it's going on a cream background Ooh. So he's going to go there and I'm going to put him on a little bit of this cream, a bit more of this cream lace, sorry. I'm disappearing off camera there, I do like lace you can tear, so I will put that under there. I'll put my lace on there. I'll put my kitty on the lace. There we go. There's my little book. I suppose you could always turn this into a little note, but you could add more pages. Uh, how can I not open it? Oops. Oh, it's my lace sticking together. You could add more pages inside and make a little notebook with it. I'm trying to keep things flat because I want to put as much as I can in the journal but keep it as flat as possible. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little bit of my tacky glue and I'm just going to go over the rows, just the rows. I'm just going to 
do that on my finger. I like using my fingers in my eye. I like the squidginess and stickiness of glue. And then I am going to get this back and get my diamond doss, which Mare from um, Lilac Pages. She does a lot with sparkles and glittery things and she's sort of got me going with this and there we go there look at that can you see the glitter on there so that will just need to dry so i will just put this back in here <coughs> right, i think i got this from america because i just couldn't get it could not find it I don't know if put one made. Yes, I do. It's under there. I could not find it in the UK. This is by Floral Craft Diamond Dust Pura de Diamant. Made by MakeItFunCrafts.com. Longfellow Place, Ludington, or oh, MI. Minnesota is that? That's not for, not the UK anyway. So there we go, two of those pretty little pieces of ephemera ready to go in my book. So I'll just get my other pieces together. That's one, two, three, four, five. Look at those. Aren't they lovely? Let's zoom in. So I'm Sharon and you've been watching Be Divine Vintage. Thank you so much. I will put the relevant links below to previous um, tutorials so that you can see how these, um, how the book came together. And these are gonna look fabulous in the book. I'm gonna do another four, I've got another four to make. They won't all be in the book. Some will be going in the pack for my 500 subby giveaway. So if you've liked my um, channel, if you like my channel, please subscribe. As soon as I get to 500, which I think is about another 40 subbies, then there'll be a giveaway. So bye for now. See you very, very soon. Au revoir.